In this lesson, we will learn about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have identical slopes. Visually, you can tell two lines are parallel because they move in the same direction and never cross. The slope of the first line is 2, and the slope of the second line is also 2. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Visually, perpendicular lines lie at right angles to each other. The slope of the first line is 2, and the slope of the second line is negative 1 over 2. The term negative reciprocal means we flip the fraction and change the sign. Start with the slope of the first line, positive 2. We can write this in fraction form as 2 over 1. Flip the numerator and denominator and use the opposite sign. This gives us negative 1 over 2. In part A, we'll graph two lines and determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Plot the two points and draw the line. Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. Clean up the double signs. The slope is 8 over 5. Let's store the slope beside the line so we can reference it later. Plot the next two points and draw the line. Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. The slope is 8 over 5. The lines have identical slopes, so they are parallel. We can represent parallel lines with the purple icon shown. In part B, we'll graph another two lines and determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Plot the two points and draw the line. Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. Clean up the double signs. The slope is minus 7 over 6. Let's store the slope beside the line so we can reference it later. Plot the two points and draw the line. Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. Clean up the double signs. The slope is 6 over 7. The lines are perpendicular since they have negative reciprocal slopes. We can represent perpendicular lines with the green icon shown. The upside down T is a reminder that perpendicular lines intersect at right angles. In part C, we'll graph the final pair of lines and determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Plot the two points and draw the line. 
Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. Clean up the double signs. The slope is 15 over 9, which can be reduced to 5 over 3. Let's store the slope beside the line so we can reference it later. Plot the two points and draw the line. Now we'll calculate the slope using the slope formula. Plug the numbers into the formula. Clean up the double signs. The slope is 5 over 4. These lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular.